Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Robcast Prevenge of the Nerd podcast. WTF edition. <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, uh, Rob Sacchetto. I'm hoping to do these videos weekly. So uh, here we are again, and uh, hello, uh, I am your guru of gore, inventor of zombie portraits, and uh, all-around pop culture lover. <laughs> uh, yes, today I have something very special to show you guys, but before I begin, before I, before I create the, the stir of the, of the day uh, and, and, and show you, give you the big reveal, uh, I would love to uh, implore you to hit that subscribe button. I hope today is the day that I earn your subscription to the channel and uh, that you help me uh, grow the channel uh, so I can do more fantastic videos and, um, and entertain and dazzle. <laughs> so um, I get a lot of commissions. Art commissions of all kinds, weird stuff, man. Uh, stuff that's not up my alley at all, but I end up doing it because I love art so much and I'm always willing to learn and explore and experiment and do fantastic things with uh, art. Uh, whether it's like, I mean, Lego, whether it's just a weird, you know, uh, um, a suggestion or or commission uh, you know it doesn't matter what it is I'm up for it and I love doing them and uh, I've had a pretty good success rate uh, and uh, you know uh, hitting, hitting those deadlines man uh, and Christmas is coming up so you know uh, that that uh, deadline hitting will be tested uh, yet again uh, as as many many people are, are asking for uh, um, Commissions uh, for art of all kinds, pets, portraits, regular portraits, zombie portraits, all kinds of things. Now, this was uh, this was a commission that I had uh, a little bit of familiarity with, only in as much as uh, I have done skull paintings before, uh, actual sculpture before, but nothing like this, and nothing could prepare me for this. Uh, th this was. Uh, unsettling to say the least even at the outset and uh, I'd like to thank my friend uh, Michael Turcott of uh, Vintage Games and Junk in uh, beautiful Sault Ste. Marie for uh, uh, giving me the opportunity to to create this commission for him uh, he collects a lot of really great and cool and weird horror things memorabilia uh, all, all sorts of things and uh, I, I love I love dudes who do that I love people who do that uh, I, I, I find it so fascinating I have a number of friends who who who, uh, who sort of traffic in in the bazaar uh, and, and and Michael is definitely uh, one of those people probably at the top of the list there uh, so th thanks a lot Michael Turcott for the for the commission, for the opportunity. Uh, I love thanking people for the opportunity to do new art um, because it is uh, fantastic for me to do so and I love doing it. Uh, so without further ado, I am going to show you the the thing uh, and uh, uh, you know here, okay I'm going to put it up here, I'm going to put it up there and I'm going to turn this around and uh, uh, here we go. Here is the big reveal. There, there it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I gotta say, man, it was uh, quite an experience uh, to to create this. Uh, it took uh, a little over 126 hours to do, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's just ripe with uh, detail. And there was no, like, I, I think there, there was, I, I was given free reign to kind of do whatever I wanted with this. And uh, that is both, that is double-edged sword because, uh, you know, it both, it's both a good and very uh, weird thing to do because you have to come up with a motif of some kind. Uh, I'm going to try to get in, the, in there more. It's kind of tough with the lighting but uh, may maybe it makes it a little more even spookier but uh, every square inch of this uh, skull has been illustrated painted and illustrated it is a real human skull uh, like like as advertised uh, it is uh, let me let me see if this 
turning this light on works. Mm, no, that does not work. Okay, so uh, there, there it is. This is a real human skull. Uh, Michael told me he got it from uh, the Cabinet of Curiosities in Dufferin, which I checked out, and they actually have uh, skeletons in the uh, window uh, that you can actually buy. And the, this is a real human skull, which I gotta tell you guys, man, like, uh, even taking it out of the box was a weird experience for me. And, uh, like, starting to work on it, uh, you know, almost every day that I worked on it, uh, I, I was creeped out, man. <laughs> but, uh, I, I, you know what? I created some very bizarre, arcane, Lovecraftian sort of images in there, which, when you see, when you turn the skull in different angles, you can actually see different things appear in the art. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna, I need to hire an exorcist to come in after I get rid of this. Uh, after I give it to Michael, uh, but uh, yeah, man, uh, it was really weird, and uh, yeah, even the bottom, even the bottom, guys, uh, that's that's the bottom. There's a tooth in there. There's, a, there's still a tooth in there, which I, which is illustrated as well. Uh, but yeah, there there it is. There it is, guys. Uh, real human skull, real illustration. Uh, this is, a, a, of course, all hand rendered, uh, and uh, you know the 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 neat thing about it is you can't plan for this, man. It it plans for you. Uh, I I tried to get my pen in places that uh, you know are almost impossible, and uh, thankfully I was able to do it uh, and cover places that you literally can't see. Uh, when it's sitting there, uh, I wanted this to be an opulent, epic, uh, you know, piece. Uh, it deserved to be, you know, something that was uh, over and above uh, the regular two-dimensional art that I usually create. Uh, even though I put my all into that stuff too, uh, you know, this this was definitely something that uh, I, I wanted to you know, create uh, a, a spectacle of, uh, just because, you know, it, it's someone's skull, man. It's someone's skull. And, uh, you know, even when I was doing it, I'm like thinking, you know, you, you <laughs> I spent so many hours on this thing that, you know, you start thinking, oh, like, what if the person, you know, can feel you drawing inside of its eye socket, scratching away in there? Uh, like, you know, I, like th th those are the things I think about, man, you know? I watched way too much horror <laughs> movies and stuff. So there there it is, guys. I, I hope you dig it. I hope you uh, like and subscribe to my channel uh, and like this video. Uh, I will be... Uh, man, I, you know what? I'll be doing videos, I think. Uh, uh, like, I, like my plan is to do them uh, at least once a week. I've got some stuff lined up. This was, this was really one of those things I had to show you in a video, I think. Uh, I think just a photo would not do it justice. I would have to take many, many, many photos. So I thought, hey, wh why don't I just, you know, do a video and show you guys in a video. And I think this works uh, great. So yes, if you like this video, uh, or if you have any comments on how it was done or anything like that, please leave your comments in the comment section below. I will actually have photos for this. Uh, excuse me. I will ha have photos for this on my uh, Patreon page. If you want to see actual photos, I'm going to take some pics right after this video and post them. Uh, I'm going to be doing it kind of in reverse this time because I'm going to be doing the video as the featured image of Zombie Daily, and then I'm going to be doing photos uh, afterwards as the bonus posts uh, today. So uh, you know, get ready for that. And uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you again. I hope to do many videos that, uh, uh, that are interesting for you guys to watch. Uh, because yeah, man, I've got a lot of uh, weird commissions to do. Oh, by the way, here's some, here's some stuff. <laughs> There, there's, there's my Mecha Godzilla, just as a, just as a teaser. And there's another one of the skulls I've done. Uh, it's, a, it's a giant styrofoam skull, but uh, there's that. And, uh, but th this, this to me uh, is literally the crowning achievement. Uh, I, I can't tell you how, how difficult it was to, to do. And uh, man, it like, 
you, you physically you physically get tired uh, just even holding it and make sh making sure it doesn't drop and stuff. So there, there, there are many, many facets to doing something like that. It's not just the drawing of it. It's the prepping, it's testing and, and all that stuff to see if it, like whatever medium you're going to use even works. Um, so I think the final thing is I, I might... I might lacquer it. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if that's even going to work again. Uh, but uh, you know, like a lot of time goes into just testing it to see if things would work. Um, but uh, yeah, thankfully all the things came together, and it, I think it looks really cool. So uh, yeah, if you have any comments uh, or questions, leave them in the comment section below, guys. I'm going to see you next time. Thank you so much for watching, and. Uh, Best wishes and love, as always. Take care. Bye-bye.